Hi, it's Senator Mark Warner giving you another update from the floor of the Senate about the historic impeachment trial that we're all involved in. I'm in the middle of a 20-minute break, um, so I'm going to have to give the getting back to the floor very shortly. Uh, we just heard a roughly two-hour introduction to the House manager's case presented by Congressman Adam Schiff. Um, that follows a very late evening where we were on the floor of the Senate until after 2 o'clock last night trying to debate the rules and whether we would get a chance to call all of the witnesses and get all of the documents um, that are relevant to the case. Unfortunately, we didn't get that yet, um, but there may be a chance to revisit that issue later. What I thought I'd do today to start is give you a little sense of what it feels like to be on the floor. It's a pretty somber mood. Um, it's rare to see close to 100 senators on the floor at one time. And unlike normal, uh, everybody's sitting for the most part in their chair, quiet, not talking. You can't bring your cell phone on. You can't even wear an Apple Watch on the floor of the Senate. On the first day, I got called out for inappropriately wearing a, an Apple Watch. Um, you're not supposed to talk. You're not supposed to text. You're not supposed to obviously talk on the phone. In a sense, it's a little bit more like what the Senate was a couple hundred years ago or maybe even a hundred years ago. And I think that reflects the seriousness of, of an impeachment trial. Um, I get a little bit of a benefit being in the back row that I can get up and stretch my legs a little bit without interfering uh, with anybody else's view. We also, if you get a moment and you can slip into the cloakroom, there's uh, snacks, both healthy and otherwise, cookies, brownies, um, candy bars, but also some fruit and even some Pringles and a variety of, of different drinks. On the floor of the Senate, you only get access to water or milk. I'm not sure why milk, but I've not seen any senator yet ask for a glass of milk, but I expect I'll see that before, before this is over. Um, today, we started with an over two-hour presentation by Adam Schiff, the lead house manager, uh, where I think he made a very impressive case, particularly around the issues of the interference in the request for Uc Ukraine to interfere in our in our political elections, looking for dirt on uh, former Vice President Biden's son, and um, also looking for the, I think, pretty much discredited theory that somehow Ukraine was behind the 2016 incursions, not, um, not Russia. Uh, I'm obviously going to remain impartial. I want to hear the president's lawyers try to rebut uh, those arguments. Um, so far, at least, we've not seen in the presentations yesterday uh, anybody questioning some of the factual basis. Uh, I hope to hear from the president's lawyers um, their response to what I thought was a strong opening. Um, I do think we're going to be in for um, a long session today and over the coming days. Uh, in my 11 years in the Senate, I can't think of a time when more senators have been on the floor for a more consistent basis, and frankly, when we probably had uh, a more important debate. I, I hope at the end of the day we'll all be able to look back, not as Democrats or Republicans, but as Americans, and say that we could face um, our supporter, supporters and opponents, uh, that the president got a fair trial, that we considered all the facts, that we heard all the relevant witnesses, and that we followed those facts no matter where they led. Um, I hope to be back to you in the coming hours and days, uh, but I better get back to the floor right now. Thanks.